did you know that there is a type of weakness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves? You say that is impossible, there's no such thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the strong, loves a strong believer, a strong Muslim. Absolutely, but there is a type of weakness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. And this is weakness that we display with our Muslim brothers and sisters. They are the only ones technically that it is allowed for us to be weak with. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Noble Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu man yartadda minkum an deenihi fasawfa yati allahu biqawm fasawfa yati allahu biqawm yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbunahu adhillatin ala almu'mineen أذلتن على المؤمنين أعزة على الكافرين يجاهدون في سبيل الله يجاهدون في سبيل الله ولا يخافون لو متلا إن ذلك فضل الله يؤتيه من يشاء he uses the word adhilla and, and dhul usually means disgrace. Of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not saying that we should be disgraceful, but rather that we should be low. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, <laughs> منهم ولا تحزن عليهم ولا تحزن عليهم واخفض جناحك للمؤمنين. Lower your wing to the believers. So you should not try to be above. You should not always try to be supreme with your brothers and sisters. It is allowed for you to be somewhat weak with them. In other words, treat them kindly, treat them well, think of them highly. Try not to be, you know, ostentatious or pompous with them, right? This is the meaning of being weak. Not that you should be, you know, weakness in general is not something that Islam condones. But with your Muslim brothers and sisters, you should be as gentle and lenient and cordial as possible. And this is why Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said in the authentic hadith, he said, Al-Iman as-sabru was samaha That Iman, Iman, belief and faith, is a sabr patience was samaha. Samaha has many deep meanings, a lot of deep meanings. One of them is uh, forgiving and pardoning. Another one is leniency. So all of these beautiful meanings we should try to implement along with our brothers and sisters. How come subhanallah, Muslims amongst each other, they don't treat each other this way. Even though the Prophet ﷺ is telling us that it is a part of faith. It is part of faith to treat your Muslim brother this way. And this is why in the famous hadith also, also uh, a man went out, subhanAllah, one day, it seems he was thinking about the issue. He went out and he said, I am giving charity with what? Not with money, but with his honor, with his pride. In other words, he said, my honor, my pride is sadaqah for whoever wants to insult me today, right? It's slightly a, a different concept of charity. He means to say, let anyone insult me, let anyone say whatever they want, I have forgiven them and I have pardoned them. And this is why the next day Prophet Muhammad said, who is the man who went and performed charity with his own self, with his own honor, with his pride? And the man said, me, O Messenger of Allah, he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has accepted your charity, subhanAllah. How many of us are ready to say, if a Muslim brother or sister has talked about me, has backbit me, has said something incorrect about me, has accused me, if any one of them has done that, I have forgiven them and I have pardoned them. It is a sadaqah from me to them. This is the meaning of a weakness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. A weakness that we practice along with our Muslim brothers 
and sisters and only with our Muslim brothers and sisters and inshallah this will only make us stronger Muslims, stronger in faith and stronger and better even in the perception of our Muslim brothers and sisters. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.